So this is now in our three by one quick game. Um, very similar, I know a lot of you probably run this, something similar to this. this is, um, off of our stick concept, um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have the outside guy, number one, run a vertical route, and then uh, two and three are gonna run hitches. Number two's gonna turn to the inside, three's turning to the outside to keep any guy inside of him on his back. We have the running back come out here, kept the tight end in, Try to jet to get guys to roll. Here, with the quarterback's feet, if you guys are wondering that, just a quick three on this um, to allow the, the routes to develop. And here again, we're going to read the guy between two and three on this if he goes to number, number two. Hitting it on the outside upfield shoulder um, to, the, to the route that we're throwing to. Then on the back side. Um, so you, you use your, the guy running the hitch that land on it to those steps? Six yards. Six yards, yep. I don't want them to have to count steps when they're running their routes. Yep. Then on the back side, we're going to attach a five yard out. And if he gets pressed, turns into a. Um, a conversion to a vertical. Yep. And that's the first thing our quarterback will look at in a three by one is if do they have the route on the back side. Here they had a safety on the hash, Mark was off of it, um, no matter what. Here against Platteville, where we had to in this game, we ended up throwing for 535 yards and a school record. Um, 66 attempts, and um, we ended up getting empty. They were only rushing three majority of the time, so we had enough time in, in the pocket to throw a lot of the game. Here, Joel ends up dripping on this. We'd like to see him stick it and stay square so the quarterback doesn't have to guess where he's going to be. His landmark, he's going to come off the football at an angle uh, at six yards, same depth as this guy. The thing that we struggled with when I first got here is they were both running too straight up the field. They were right on top of each other. We could never throw it to the number two receiver because he was in the way. Have to angle him coming off the line of scrimmage. Another one here. Gonna end up throwing it to the same guy. Thing, thing that we don't do here, um, right here as you can see, we want them, it's a MOR, mandatory outside release on this corner because we need to ensure that he's not going to come back and just smack us the moment that we catch it. Uh, this is one that, uh, that we used a couple times this season. This is off of our uh, zone read play from when our running back is in the dot, and we're going to read the safety on the hash on this. Um, this was a play that we ran all the time um, at NIU and had a lot of success with it. All we're doing is this is our zone read. We're going to tag an extra on it. So over here again, we're going to block the read to ensure our protection. And then all we're doing is reading this guy right here. If he stays, pats his feet, doesn't come down at all, we're handing the football off. It's an automatic gift. If he comes down at all, the quarterback's going to pull it, come out, throw it to the receiver. And as you can see, he's running on his third outside step, um, planting and getting to the hash. And what we're telling the quarterback is you can see here, um, our running back's coming on the right side. He's going to turn, get his uh, shoulders down, ride the fake while looking at the safety here, and then pop up and throw it um, to our wide out on the perimeter. <coughs> so here again, same kid running the route, same 
formation, same thing. Reading this guy right here again, he comes down, he vacates it all, putting it on him. And the thing, thing that our guys struggled with right away was they wanted to lead him down the field. Um, this is designed to just put it on him. Get it to this guy as fast as you can after you know that safety's coming down, put it on him, don't lead him. This was one, uh, you know, when you come in on, on Sunday and you watch this one, I wish Sam would have stayed more vertical after he got his release. You know, he started working to the hash too quick um, and allowed the corner to recover rather than staying high and having a chance um, of getting up the field and not bending it so much. Coach, that's all split zone. Yep. 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 Five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Do you tag that or do you just not worry about guys being down to it? <laughs> oh, great question. Uh, we tag it. Yep. And um, we hope that they don't call it downfield. To be honest with you. I mean, unless I've, I've seen it called one time and it was because. Uh, the official turned around and he bumped into the whole lineman. And they looked at each other. I mean, you try to tell them, Tark's gonna, and to be honest with you, you know, and I know I'm joking, but we give a flash call. This is called flash in our offense. We'll tag X flash, and he, he goes up to the line, hey, flash, 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 and they know, okay, there's an opportunity that we might throw it here. Don't work downfield if you don't have to. So, yeah. Bubble series, this is another jet, jets and bubbles in our offense are a huge deal. Um, you know, I know the RPOs are taking over the country right now. Um, but we're going to have a pre-snap. Um, pre-snap also plays, uh, turn into triple options in our offense. And a big thing that I don't want to ever overcomplicate this um, for our quarterbacks, if they can get five yards um, before they get tackled, then they need to throw it. They need to be long handoffs. As you can see, we'll do it out of a two by two and a three by one. And what we're going to tell our outside guy, you got the corner, and then if it's a three by one, number two, you got most dangerous. And this is just attached to any play. So if this is, if it's a true bubble, that's going to be a pretty snap for us. And we want our guy catching the football to get on the perimeter. Get to the outside. Get outside all of the blocks. Great film job here, but here again. Got off. Think we can get. You know, the thing people will say, okay, is he three yards inside? Is he two yards here? Is he that? I don't want our quarterback to have to think that much. Can he get five yards before he gets tackled? Everybody knows a five-yard run play is a good play. Um, that's why I tell our guys that make sure if he can get five yards, throw it to him. And then your outside guy out on the edge has got to be um, setting the tone with holding his block. Wide receiver on the outside, is he blocking from the sideline or is he going to go square him up? Square him up, yep, yep, just because he doesn't know where the guy's in his <laughs> Next, trying to try to get it in here real quick. Um, we're going to attach an Oki to what we're doing. Um, and what that is is a five yard out, so we've got a run play, we got a bubble screen to our right, and our one on one on the back side, like I told you, is going to run. A five yard out. First thing our quarterbacks will look at if it's a run play or a pass play. Do I have my five yard out? If I do, I'm going to take it. Now you can see the down distance here. Your old line coach might want to fight you sometimes when you call these. Um, it's third and one right now, and we threw it. And I tell our quarterbacks that if it, if it is third down and you're going to throw these, you better be sure um, that you're going to complete it. Otherwise, you're going to make us both look pretty dang bad. Here again, um, Ryan ended up not running the bubble here. But if, if he's pressed at five, like I said, he's going to run a, a vertical. Turns right into it. Rather than running the five yard out, we're not going to beat our head against the wall. We're just going to tell him to run a conversion route. 
Lay it up there. Questions at all? Weren't able to get into the drop back stuff, but good. Well, I'll be, I'll be sticking around for a while. If anybody's got questions, please feel free to do so. Um, also, I know so Coach Schmidt has been in, in touch with some of you guys about the roundtable discussion uh, that we're going to try and start February 2nd, Wednesday night. Um, you know, we want to want to meet with you guys and, and learn what you guys are doing leadership-wise, practice-wise, all that sort of stuff. So, um, thank you, and uh, thanks for coming.